the Dolomites. The name itself makes you think of tall peaks and peaceful valleys. These amazing mountains in northeastern Italy are a UNESCO World Heritage Site, famous for their incredible beauty and how special they are to the Earth's history. Known for their jagged peaks, green valleys, and world-class skiing, the Dolomites attract adventurers and nature lovers from all over the world. Nestled among these towering mountains, the Cavalese region has always been a popular destination for both winter and summer activities. Tourists, eager to experience the thrill of winter sports, flock to the area, from skiing and snowboarding to snowshoeing and ice climbing. The cable car to Alpes Sermis, a mountain peak that offers a variety of slopes, was a major attraction. It offered breathtaking panoramic views that stretched as far as the eye could see, making it a must-visit for anyone in the region. The promise of an unforgettable experience drew countless visitors, all eager to capture the stunning scenery. On February 3, 1998, the cable car was packed with skiers and snowboarders, all buzzing with excitement. They were looking forward to an afternoon on the slopes, ready to carve through fresh powder and enjoy the crisp mountain air. They chatted, laughed, their spirits high, unaware of the tragedy that awaited them. As the cable car ascended, a low-flying US military plane on a training mission sliced through the cables with its wing. The cable car plummeted 80 meters down the mountainside. The impact was catastrophic, claiming the lives of 20 people and leaving a scar on the community. Today, a memorial stands at the site, a somber reminder of the lives lost and the fragility of life amidst the beauty of the Dolomites. The Dolomites continue to captivate and inspire, their beauty undimmed by time, a testament to nature's power and enduring grace. The idyllic winter scene was instantly shattered. The peaceful mountain air was filled with the deafening roar of the crash. Debris was scattered across the snow, a grim testament to the force of the impact. Rescue teams rushed to the scene. They were met with a scene of unimaginable devastation. The mangled wreckage of the cable car lay amidst the trees. The snow was stained crimson with blood. Twenty people lost their lives that day. Italians, Germans, Hungarians, Polish and Austrians. Their dreams and aspirations buried under the weight of the tragedy. Among the victims were couples, families and friends. All united in death by a cruel twist of fate. The world watched in horror as news of the disaster spread. The investigation into the disaster revealed a chilling truth. It was a complex web of errors and omissions that culminated in a catastrophic event. It wasn't just one mistake, but a series of errors that led to the tragedy, each one compounding the previous, creating a domino effect that was impossible to stop once it began. The US military aircraft, an EA-6B Prowler, was flying far too low and far too fast. This aircraft, designed for electronic warfare, was not adhering to the designated altitude and speed regulations for the area. It was on a training mission. These missions are meant to simulate real-life combat scenarios, but they also require strict adherence to safety protocols to prevent accidents. It would later be revealed that the pilots were not following proper procedures. They disregarded crucial checklists and safety procedures, which are put in place to ensure the safety of both the crew and civilians. The investigation also found that the plane's navigation system was malfunctioning. This malfunction made it difficult for the pilots to navigate accurately, especially in mountainous terrain where precision is paramount. The maps used by the pilots did not show the cable car route. These outdated maps lacked crucial details that could have alerted the pilots to the presence of the cable car system. Adding to the tragedy, the cable car itself lacked a safety device that could have prevented it from falling even after the cables were severed. The absence of the safety feature was a grave oversight that contributed to the loss of life. A fatal combination of human error, technical failure and inadequate safety procedures led to this horrific accident. The investigation highlighted the need for stricter regulations, better training and more advanced technology to prevent such tragedies from happening in the future. It was a stark reminder of how several small mistakes can combine to create a disaster of unimaginable proportions. The disaster sparked outrage and calls for justice. The Italian government demanded that the pilots be tried in Italy. However, the United States insisted on military jurisdiction. The trial, held in the United States, was controversial from the start. The pilots were charged with involuntary manslaughter and negligent homicide. 
They argued that they had been unaware of the cable car's presence and that their actions were not criminal. The jury acquitted the pilot and navigator of the most serious charges. They were found guilty of obstruction of justice and conduct unbecoming an officer. They received relatively light sentences. The verdict sparked outrage in Italy and strained relations between the United States and Italy. Many Italians felt that the pilots had gotten away with it. They saw the verdict as a symbol of American arrogance and a disregard for Italian lives. The Italian government, while respecting the decision of the American court, expressed its deep disappointment. The U.S. government offered apologies and compensation to the families of the victims. The incident cast a long shadow over U.S.-Italian relations. It served as a tragic reminder of the complex issues surrounding military operations in foreign countries and the importance of accountability and justice. In the aftermath of the disaster, the families of the victims were left to grapple with their grief and loss. Many struggled to come to terms with the sudden and senseless loss of their loved ones. Parents lost children, spouses lost partners, and children lost parents. The emotional toll was immeasurable. Some families found solace in their faith, others in the support of their communities. Many channeled their grief into advocating for improved cable car safety regulations and air traffic control. Their efforts were a testament to their resilience and their determination to prevent such a tragedy from ever happening again. In the years that followed, memorials were erected near the site of the disaster. They serve as poignant reminders of the lives lost and the importance of remembrance. Each year, on the anniversary of the tragedy, people gather to pay their respects. They lay wreaths and light candles and share stories of those they lost. The Cavalese cable car disaster, though a tragedy of immense proportions, brought about a sense of unity and shared grief. It highlighted the fragility of life and the importance of cherishing every moment. The Cavalese disaster served as a wake-up call for the aviation industry and governments around the world. It prompted a review of safety regulations for both military and civilian aircraft operating near cable car routes. Changes were made to pilot training programs. New mapping technologies were implemented. Safety devices were installed on cable cars to prevent similar accidents. The disaster, as tragic as it was, led to tangible improvements in aviation safety. The Cavalese cable car disaster serves as a stark reminder of the devastating consequences of negligence. This tragic event, which claimed so many lives, underscores the critical need for stringent safety measures and constant vigilance. It is a somber lesson that reminds us of the fragility of life and the importance of our collective responsibility to ensure safety for all. The importance of unwavering vigilance when it comes to safety regulations cannot be overstated. Regular inspections, rigorous maintenance protocols, and adherence to safety standards are paramount in preventing such disasters. Every little detail matters, and overlooking even the smallest aspect can have dire consequences. It is an ongoing process that demands dedication and commitment from all stakeholders involved. The echoes of the tragedy continue to resonate, not just in the hearts of those directly affected, but in the collective consciousness of society. The memorials and commemorations serve as poignant reminders of the lives lost and the lessons learned. They are a call to action urging us to remain vigilant and proactive in our efforts to prevent future tragedies. These echoes are a call to action, urging us to learn from the past and strive for a future where such preventable accidents are but a distant memory. Through continuous improvement, education and awareness, we can hope to achieve a safer world. Safety regulations must evolve, incorporating new technologies and insights to address emerging risks and challenges. The families of the victims forever bound by their shared loss, continue to honor the memories of their loved ones by advocating for safety and seeking justice. Their tireless efforts have led to significant changes in safety protocols and contributed to a heightened awareness of the importance of stringent safety measures. Their voices, filled with both pain and determination, have become powerful catalysts for change. Their strength and resilience in the face of unimaginable tragedy serve as an inspiration to us all. They remind us that even in the darkest of times, there is hope and the potential for positive change. By coming together, supporting one another, and committing to a culture of safety, we can honor the memories of those we lost and build a safer future for generations to come.